Anytime basketball season starts, basketball coaches, basketball players are, are excited. This year it's a little bit earlier that we get to feel that excitement of getting on the court together for an extended period of time. We, we feel good about it. It's always an exciting time at the beginning of the season, you know, when you start practicing, you get the team together. It's been a long off season, and uh, to have all the guys on the court at the same time, you, you know, you look forward to your first game. You know, I always love playing the, the big games. Last year was Marquette. It was a lot of fun. They, you know, they turn off the lights for the starting lineups and stuff like that, and they, they always pack them since their first game of the year. So I'm really looking looking forward to Wake Forest and Cuse and Georgetown and all those big games. Hopefully we can knock, knock a couple of them off this year. Obviously, when you're competing against the best, you're feeder to the fire, and you get um, you get to see where you are. And if if you don't let those experiences break you, then it, it can only make you better uh, when you get in the league play. I mean, those are obviously great learning opportunities, but you know, I think this year we can uh, hopefully try to surprise some teams. You know, Wake Forest down in Wake Forest to have a, a win first game of the season. You know. That would be an unbelievable way to start off my senior year. To end my senior year, I want to go out on a good note, obviously. I want to win as many games as possible. Um, I think that everyone wants to, obviously, but just me being my last year, Murph his last year, uh, Chad Johnson, Clay Graham, everyone. Um, I think that uh, we all really want to you know, leave a, leave a legacy here, try to go out on top. A lot of guys thought that we underachieved last year, and I think uh, we all think we can do a ton better this year, so that's definitely been a big motivational point this, this uh, preseason. Everybody that we have that's returning to our program, even uh, Austin and Ethan, who were here with us last year, although they didn't compete, are uh, understanding of our vocabulary, their understanding of what's expected on a day-to-day -day basis. Our seniors so far have been great leading. They've been really holding everybody accountable and uh, keeping that intensity during practice and uh, during our scrimmages and stuff like that. So every day we try to improve in practice and that's, that's the main goal and you know if, if we're able to do that then I think uh, you know the f end results of wins will come. We're trying to get better every time that we step on the basketball court, every time that we're doing something together as a team. It sounds a little cliche, but the season is so long that uh, I think if you start to focus on long-term goals, you can um, lose sight of what you need to do in the short term. The little things we got to really focus on. Um, we can't, had a lot of games last year come down to just a couple plays. And uh, if we can just work hard every day and uh, continue to do the things that Coach Lango is telling us to do, um, hopefully we can make those two-point, three-point losses uh, turn into wins. We're really locked in on just trying to improve the, the small parts of the game, really focusing on the fundamentals and, and being solid on both ends of the court. We have a much better chance to do better as a team. You know, If I have to go out there and score 20 points, then maybe I'll have to do that. But if not, if someone else steps up like the new guys or Pat Moore has a good game, then I'm okay taking the back seat for that game. And it's just really... Uh, whatever he can do to make the, to make the team win. One, two, three. All in!